with Russia being in the news lately for their failed mysterious test. It is interesting to note that seismologists have used Russian nuclear tests from 1971 and 1974 to calculate the most precise estimate of the spin rate of the Earth's inner core. Let's find out what this actually revealed. We know that the Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. We don't know what the interior of the Earth is made of, but the current accepted model is that at the centre of the Earth sits an iron ball floating within an ocean of molten metal, which means that the core, in theory, is free to turn independently from the planet's exterior. In a recent report published in the Geophysical Research Letters, seismologists from the University of Southern California have calculated that the inner core spins faster than the interior. Now this difference would locate to about 4.8 miles on the surface across a whole year. Previously, this had been estimated using earthquakes, but the signal is not clean like a nuclear explosion. So the value that they derived is actually the slowest compared to the other ones that they calculated using the earthquake data. Yet we must urge caution as we are attempting to peer into the depth of our planet using just seismic data, with no understanding of what is actually in the interior. Other scientists have pointed out that there are other possibilities to account for these observations, and this would be that the core does not actually rotate at a different speed to the exterior, but that the surface of the core is jagged, a bit like cliffs or, or mountains, and that these shift over time. Others have pointed out that it could be that the core is distorted, um, meaning that uh, it doesn't reflect the seismic waves the same from all sides or that the rotation rate simply is not consistent so that it changes over time, stutters, it goes faster, goes slower. So can this data help us to understand anything about planet Earth and anything about planet formation? Now there are theories that state that the interior of a planet could be hollow. Now does this data actually rule it out? Well the answer is yes and no. In order to understand this, you need to understand that seismic waves are made out of two different types of waves, the S shear waves and the P waves. Now one is a transverse wave and one is a longitudinal wave. Now the S waves require a solid medium to travel through, whereas the P waves can travel through anything except a vacuum. Now for some time we have known that the P waves travel across the whole world, but the S waves cannot. And this is the main reason why the currently accepted model has an outer core layer which is made of liquid. When you examine the speed at which the seismic waves travel, something interesting presents itself. Waves which pass through the core, which should be going in pretty much a straight line, actually slow down. And what makes it even stranger is that the P waves are supposed to speed up in more dense materials. And surely this core must be more dense than the rock that is on the outside. So how can we explain the slowing down? Using the equations for the speed of sound, it can be seen that one of two things could affect that speed, and that is either the, the density of the material that the wave is passing through, or the elasticity. So you guessed it, the scientists invoked the elasticity side in the core made of compressed metal. I'll leave you to ponder that one. Now is there another possibility? Well, maybe. So let's go back to that idea of a hollow earth, in which case the, the, the P waves cannot travel straight through the centre because that would be empty. Uh, and instead what would have to happen is these waves would have to travel along the outer edges. Now we already know that these waves, these particular types of waves, are bent by different types of material and particularly where they meet different boundaries they will tend to bend that is already known so this could indeed explain why these p waves would take longer to arrive on the other side because their path was indeed longer they didn't travel in a straight line 
So is this a hollow earth then? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I think what this proves is that we know very little about the interior of the earth. And to claim that either model is correct or not is just not possible. There are many explanations that could fit the data and we must be open to all possibilities. The current model makes firm assumptions on the structure of the core with very little evidence to back this up. Now I will link down below a good website that goes into more details on this idea of a hollow earth and how the seismic data actually provides a lot of evidence for it. And I may well do a more detailed video on that concept in the future. But in order to do that, I need to study the model in a lot more detail. Now, one interesting thing to note is that in the case of both Jupiter and Saturn, it is also believed that the core rotates faster than the interior. And remember, the data for Jupiter and Saturn is not derived from seismic data, but from the magnetic field rotation. And once again, that proves that we know so little about how the planets are formed and what their internal structure is, which comes back to the point that that is one of the things that I want to focus on is understanding the different models for planet formation to try and work out which ones or which parts of which models fit best with all of the evidence that we actually see. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.